Hey, what's up, beautiful people? Thank you so much for joining my channel, The Balanle Babe. Balanle means finds wealth at home, and that's exactly what we're about here on this channel, finding our wealth at home by budgeting and saving via our cash envelope systems. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rita, and if you're returning, let's jump right into this budget. All right, guys, so today I have our July paycheck number one budget, and we are going to jump right into this Erin Condren budget book. Um, as you can see here, I have a new um, spread. I'll go ahead and flip through it for you guys. Um, this sticker kit is by um, Saray Plans. I believe I'm saying her name correctly. I'll definitely link her below just in case you're interested. Um, but this is the setup for July um, that I will be following. I'm happy to have my stickers back um, compared to last month when I just kind of put together my own set of things. Um, this definitely gives me joy and motivates me to do my budget, so I'm excited about this. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, by the time you're watching this, 4th of July will most likely pass. Still trying to catch up, guys. I'm almost there. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is July paycheck uh, budget number one. Um, I was paid on July 1st. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into our bills. So if you're new here, I just have this side labeled 1 through 30 for the days of the month. And I'm going to go ahead and plot the bills that I have to pay out of this paycheck um, on here. Um, this is for the month, so when I do my second paycheck, I'll come back and I'll fill in uh, those bills as well. But I'm not going to do everything at once, just what's coming out of this paycheck. All right, and that's important for what you guys will see here in a second. Okay, so the first bill that you guys are going to see come out happened on July 2nd, and that's going to be the first deduction for my home chef. Um, which is a meal subscription service. I get it three times a week. And it is $62. I should have drew myself like little columns here. Um, that would have made me much more happy, but <laughs> I forgot to do that, so bear with me. Um, our home chef comes out for the second time during the pay period on the 9th. So I'm just going to put it again. So that's a total of $124 for the home chef. And then um, on the 4th of July, actually, is when my auto insurance is done or my car insurance. And that's through USAA. And that's for a total of $200 even. Okay, and then on the 5th of July, um, I have the other half of my USAA loan coming out. So if you watched my last um, my last budget with me, I only did half of it because I had Father's Day and things like that um, to give myself just a little bit more cushion for income. I paid half of the bill ahead of time and then I decided I would pay the rest through this paycheck. Um, so that's going to be, it usually is, it usually is about 326, but today I'm paying 163. So I'm just going to put USAA loan balance. Oh crap, I put 193. I meant to put 163. I don't have my white out with me either, guys, so... We're just gonna cross that out. Okay, so we have Home Chef coming out for $62 on the second. We have our car insurance for $200 coming out on the fourth, um, which is interesting. This is the last payment. It's supposed to drop down next month significantly because I took my husband's car off. Um, but as you guys know, I'm just about to put another car right back on it. So it'll be interesting to see how this number changes over the next two months. It's probably gonna go down and then it's probably gonna spike back up. So we'll take a look out for that. Um, and then USAA loan balance on the 5th for 163, and then Home Chef again for $62 on the 9th. So believe it or not, those are the only bills that I have to pay for this pay period. Um, I typically would pay more bills. Um, however, I'm really strategically trying to aggressively save towards my down payment for my new car. And one of the things that I always keep a lookout for 
is any time that a pay period falls three times within one month. And if I'm correct, I believe that happens about twice a year for those of us who are paid bi-weekly. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here is a spread um, of July. And as you can see, I got paid on the 1st of July. I'm going to get paid on the 15th of July and then again on the 29th. So that is technically three times within the same month. And anytime that happens and you're ahead enough on your bills, you may have the ability to skip certain bills, um, skip paying certain bills out of this paycheck because they still won't be due until you get to this paycheck. But then of course, when this paycheck comes in, it also handles the next bills coming up that flow into August. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense. It makes sense to me. <laughs> and for those of you who do the same process and understand the three pay periods per month, um, probably also are following me. But to make a long story short, because the majority of my bills are not due until the 15th are on, there's really no bills besides the two that I, the three that I listed that fall within here. So what that means is once I pay those bills, I'm really able to take the rest of the check and kind of pocket it. Um, and that's exciting because like I said, we really pay attention, me and my husband anyway, really pay attention to these months um, where that happens. So anyway, let's total these up. So we have 124 for our home chef. We have 200 for our car insurance and 163. Um, which is a total of $487. Also, just quick disclaimer, just in case you don't know, um, that car insurance amount is for two vehicles. Um, when I said it out loud just there, I was like, do they know that that's not just for one car? I don't want you guys to think that um, I'm a bad driver or something and that my car insurance is really high. <laughs> okay, so $487 in bills is what we have coming out this pay period. So now we're gonna jump right over into our dashboard and we are going to set up some monthly goals. So the first goal that I have for the month of July, as you guys know, um, because I won't stop talking about it, is buying my new car. So I'm just gonna write buy new car. So I'm going to put buy new car 2021. I just put 2021 because I am getting a 2021 vehicle. Um, so still not telling you guys what it is just yet, just in case the universe doesn't line up correctly, but I have faith that it will. Um, but yes, that is the goal by the end of the month. So my second goal um, for July is going to be to open that high yield savings account that I was supposed to open up, I think back in April. <laughs> um, I forgot to move it over for last month's goal. So we're just going to do it again. Um, and for those who don't know, I want to open that account for my personal envelope. Um, because that envelope is over $500. And I think it would be nice to have that um, in an account growing interest versus just sitting in an envelope. Okay, so open high yield savings account. And then my last goal for the month that I would like to see is for me to get back on track with paying down my debt snowball. Um, you guys will hear what I mean here in a little bit as far as, you know, why I need to get back on track with paying my debt snowball. Um, I have some other priorities right now, so things have just switched up a little bit. with snowball okay perfect so then it says gifts so this is actually a pretty big birthday month and i'm already stressed because i already did not put any money for birthdays in my budget at least not for this pay period so that stinks um but yes for the following month i should be able to because i will have some surprise incomes coming up um, mid-month so let's see gifts we have to remember I have one of my friend's sons I'm just gonna put their ages too um, so my friend's son he's having a birthday um, and hold on I put fifth I don't want anybody to think that it's on the 5th of July 
His is July 9th. And then Dad's B Day. And that's 721. And then my husband's godson. And his is 711. I should have wrote those two in reverse, but that's just the order that I remember them. So we do have three birthdays coming up, two kids' birthdays and my dad's birthday. So I definitely will need money um, for gifts and things of that sort. All right, so online purchases. I can't think of any online purchases that I need to make, um, but I there is one purchase I need to make. I remember leaving myself a sticky note, um, and that is vitamins for my daughter. I don't necessarily have to get those online, but this is more of so just a checklist for me. Maybe I can order them off of Amazon, actually. All right, so this is the dashboard so far, and we have our quote of the month, and I wanted to kind of make it 4th of July, but also budget themed. So this month's quote says, a budget doesn't limit your freedom, it gives you freedom. So being the 4th of July, I just felt like that was fitting. Um, and yeah, guys, don't let your budget hold you down. Use your budget to your advantage. When you're more in sync with the money that's coming in and the money that's going out, you make smarter decisions, which will actually lead to you feeling more financially free and in control of your money versus when you know, you, you're not budgeting and you're spending a whole bunch of money and wondering where it's going. So, you know, just think about it like that. A budget doesn't limit your freedom. It gives you freedom. It relaxes you. Um, when you know where every dollar is going, you're more confident and you're just more in control of your finances. So, all right. Now we have our no spend box here. And for no spend, <laughs> we really haven't done too well for the first week. Um, we did not spend on the first did we spend on the second? I think we did. Yeah, we did not spend on the third. And did I spend today? I did. I bought coffee. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we've only had two no spend days so far. Okay, so now this is our dashboard where we're going to track down our income, full-time income. And that, per usual, is $1,937. Okay, then for our side hustle, which is a Macari, um, we have some income in the amount of $94. This was a pretty good Macari pay period. And then we have some surprise income. In the amount of $1,000. And if you want more detail about that surprise income and that $1,000, then definitely watch my cash stuffing video. So that leaves us with a total of, let's see, 1,937 plus 94 plus 1,000. That's $3,031. Okay, so now, like I said, for this part, I'm just going to take my bills, which aren't many that I plotted so far, um, and I'm going to spread them out on here, but I'm also going to add my cash envelopes on here as well. Um, and then I'll let you guys know what those two um, numbers total.
Okay, so we have plotted everything that we need to plot. I'm not going to fill out this column yet because this is for the month and we still have to include our bills from paycheck number two as well as our income. So I'll just go ahead and add these things just for you guys, you know, your own peace of mind. So our bills that we actually had came to a total. I think I already did this for you guys, but I'll do it again came to a total of $487. Hopefully you guys can see that and I'm in frame. And then our cash envelopes for the week, they come to um, 30 for housing, to oh, 30 for, oh, come on. 30 for housing, 100 for food, A hundred again for food, but for the second week, we have forty for personal and fifty for gas. That should be forty, I believe. Okay, guys. When I was adding up, I realized that I made two mistakes, and that is is that gas should only be forty dollars, not fifty. So we're just gonna update that. And then actually over here for housing, because we have rollover money, we're only gonna be allocating $20. Okay, so now that we have our numbers correct, um, let's go ahead and try adding this up again. So for our regular income, $1,937 plus $94 for our side hustle money. And then we had $1,000 in surprise cash for a total of $3,031. Our bills added up to $487. And our cash envelopes in total added up to $300 even. So that leaves us with a total of $2,244. You guys know that I like to make things even, so we're gonna go with $2,240 that we have to put towards sinking funds. So $2,240 is what we have to break down for our sinking fund categories. This is super, super fun because that is a lot of money and I'm really excited about being able to allocate this all somewhere. So the first sinking fund, um, actually let me write them out and then we'll go through and we'll fill in the amounts. So we have six, one, two, three, four, five, six sinking funds that we're gonna be putting money into today. So we are gonna be adding an additional $75 in total for the kids. You guys know that is $25 per child. I just like to lump it together. Um, our savings challenge. So for July, the savings challenge amounts were 75 and 50, I believe. Um, I chose to do the 50 just because it worked out better with my budget this time. Um, allowance, you guys know my kids get 20 bucks, $5 per person per week. Um, personal savings, we're going to give ourselves $25 because we haven't given anything in a while. Um, beauty, we are going to give ourselves $50 so that we can go get our nails done and our eyebrows done. Um, and then a new car, are you guys ready? New car is going to get... $2,020. That is awesome. So let's just re-add this up and make sure. So we'll start from the bottom up. $2,020 going towards new car. $50 for beauty. $25 towards personal savings. $20 for kids allowance. $50 for the savings challenge. And $75 for my kids savings. Um, and that equals $2,240 just like we thought it should. And there you go. That is the amount of money that we are going to be stuffing in my next 
cash envelope and sinking fund stuffing video. So if you're interested in seeing that money get stuffed, then definitely check that video out. It will be uploaded right after this one. So you guys, when I do my check-in with you guys, what I'll be doing is filling out my expenses on this page. And then over here, we will determine what sinking fund we took it out of and how much money we have left. And then we'll start all over again for paycheck number two. So, and our sinking fund categories. Um, totaling $2,240. If you want to see me stuff that, then like this video, comment, subscribe, and head on over to the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!